Hi, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling, your one-stop hub for all things tech. Today, we have an exciting and highly informative video lined up for you. We're diving deep into the world of networking to compare traditional access point, mesh networks, and wireless bridge to help you find out which one is the best fit for your needs. So buckle up because we're about to get nerdy. So first, let's lay the groundwork by briefly introducing these three technologies. Traditional access point are devices that create a wireless local area network, usually in a single location like an office or a home. And they connect to a wired router, a switch or a hub via an ethernet cable and broadcast a Wi-Fi signal to a designated area. And they're great for extending coverage to a specific spot, but can struggle with seamless coverage over a larger areas. And mesh networks are a system of multiple devices or not, and that works together to blanket your entire home or office with Wi-Fi. Unlike SS Point, each knot in a mesh network communicates with each other to provide seamless coverage, even in a larger or more complex spaces, which is perfect for large homes or businesses with multiple floors. And then we have the wireless bridge, the hidden gems of networking world. Now, these devices connect two separate networks over a distance, like linking two buildings without needing to lay down any cables. They use directional antennas to establish a point-to-point -point connection, offering robust connectivity even in challenging environments. And choosing the right networking solution, it is crucial. It impacts your internet speed, reliability, and the overall user experience. Now let's dive deep into each solution, starting with traditional access point. Now, traditional access points are straightforward to set up. They work by connecting directly to your router via Ethernet. They're fantastic for providing Wi-Fi to specific areas, but they do have their drawbacks. The biggest issue is coverage. If you have a large area to cover, you may need multiple APs, and managing them can get tricky. Plus, moving between APs can sometimes lead to connection drops. So the pros of traditional APs include stability, simplicity, and cost effectiveness for a small area. However, they fall short when it comes to large-scale coverage, seamless roaming, and managing multiple devices can get cumbersome. Now, let's talk about mesh networks. These are the superheroes for large homes and office. A mesh network consists of a main router connected to the modem and a series of knots placed around your home or office. These knots communicate with each other, forming a unified network that covers every nook and cranny. And the main advantage of mesh networks is their ability to provide consistent coverage. No more dead zones. Plus, they're incredibly easy to manage through a single application. However, the cost can be a bit high, and while setup is user-friendly, initial investment and complexity can be a barrier for some. So the pros include excellent coverage, scalability, and seamless ramming. On the downside, they can be pricey, and initial setup require a bit of tech know-how. And finally, let's shine the spotlights on our wireless bridges. Now, these devices are fantastic for connecting two separate networks without the need for extensive cabling, so there's no cable required between them, which is ideal for linking buildings or extending your network to a distant location. So the wireless bridges are powerful, yet often overlooked. And our new wireless bridge here is a game changer. It uses dedicated TVS lightning protection device to enhance performance in harsh environment. And it's also equipped with a built-in directional antenna, offering a distance range of up to 5 kilometers. 
It supports 24 248 volt power over Ethernet and a 12 volt DC power supply, and even a one click pairing. Plus, it is IPv6 compatible and can operate in a temperature range from minus 40 degrees up to 70 degrees. So, the pros of wireless bridges include robust performance over long distances, cost-effectiveness for specific use cases, easy pairing, and ideal for point-to-point -point connection. However, they're best suited for specific scenario, like connecting two points with a line-of-sight requirement. So when deciding between traditional SS points, mesh networks, and wireless bridges, you should consider the following factors. Coverage area, scalability, reliability and redundancy, cost, and ease of setup and maintenance. Now, traditional SS points are ideal for smaller and simpler setup, offering reliable performance but limited scalability without additional wiring. And mesh networks are your go-to for a comprehensive home or office. They excel in covering a large and complex areas with many obstacles, also providing high scalability and redundancy, since multiple knots can reroute traffic if one fails, though they may come at a higher cost and can be more complex to set up and maintain. And wireless bridges? They're the best for connecting distance location without extensive cabling and a place with a clear line of sight and fewer obstacles. And they also offer reliable point-to-point -point connection and often with a moderate cost and simpler setup compared to mesh networks. So your choice should balance these factors based on your specific needs and constraints, <laughs> assess your budget and tag capabilities before you make the best choice. And also staying ahead with innovations like 5G and Wi-Fi 6. Now thank you very much for watching Tag Enthusiasts. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all of our latest tech insight. Also, you can drop us a comment below if you have any questions or topics that you want us to cover next. And until then, stay connected and stay tech savvy.